Workers' Party Chief Pritam Singh has apologised for the party's decision not to send a representative to a political debate in Mandarin broadcast live nationally yesterday. He says the party could have done better and he's grateful for the support of Mandarin-speaking voters whom it has traditionally appealed to. Noting former party chief Latia Kiang's command of the language, Mr Singh says he doesn't want the heart and soul of the party to change, adding that it will work hard to get bicultural Singaporeans to join its ranks. And I do have to apologise uh, for the party not sending a representative to the uh, Channel 8 uh, debate yesterday. Uh, we have individuals in the party uh, who can make speeches in Mandarin, uh, communicate effectively with residents in Mandarin, uh, but the quality of uh, the proficiency required to participate in a, a live debate is of a higher order. Uh, the Workers' Party will continue to try to attract uh, Singaporeans, bicultural Singaporeans, uh, who can uh, participate in such debates. Mr Singh was speaking on the sidelines of a walkabout in Aljunit GRC where he's leading a five-person team to defend the ward against the People's Action Party. The four political parties fielding the most candidates were invited to live TV debates in English and Mandarin yesterday. The People's Action Party, Progress Singapore Party and Singapore Democratic Party took part in the Mandarin debate. It was held in a similar format to a dialogue organised by Chinese newspaper Liang He Chaobao this evening with both the moderator and other candidates allowed to ask questions. This time, WP's East Coast GRC candidate Kenneth Fu attended as well as PAP and PSP. For yesterday's TV debate in English, the WP sent a new face, Sengkang GRC candidate Jameis Lim. The 44-year-old economics professor won over netizens with his performance, especially his remarks on the party trying to deny PAP a blank check. I think Jameis did credibly for the party, uh, but uh, look, that's not where, uh, you know, that, that's not the result of the polls. There's a lot of work to do. And uh, all our candidates have to work hard to serve the people on the ground and in parliament. And so it's more than just debates as well.